Hello, everyone. I am back and I'm doing an impromptu live of some of the PR that has been sent to me over the past few days. And I just really wanted to go ahead and do this video because this stuff is piling up. I want to share it with you all and I want to be able to clean up and actually use this stuff instead of saving and holding it and doing a PR portion of my favorites video, which I normally do that. And, you know, I feel like that works pretty well, but I just have too much stuff. It would literally take me probably 45 minutes during my favorites video if I just went through you know, the PR stuff, which is really, really cool because more brands are sending me things. So, hey, y'all. Hey, Vicky J. Hey, Lori. Hey, Sky's Beautiful or Sky's Beauty. Hey, Beautiful. Hey, Janelle. Hey, Joy. Hey, Alicia. Thank you. Um, I just got finished filming a little video. I did a video on this right here. The new brand by Samantha Ravendahl. And, you know, I'm like, listen. I have got to clean up my area. I have stuff here. I have stuff there. It's just everywhere. I've been shopping. I got another haul coming on my birthday stuff. So I'm like, you know what? I've got to consolidate all these boxes, all this stuff, because if I don't have clearness and it's just clutter around me, I start feeling overwhelmed. So I have to get this stuff. I have to do something with it. But anyways, hey, y'all. Oh, hey, Urban Eve. I actually need to check and look at that video because I have just been going, going, going all day. So I just want to pop on here really quickly. I'm not going to stay on here super long. I'm going to keep this video up and I am going to share with you all some of the PR. So it's a big pile here. Like it, it didn't seem like it was getting to be too much, but then I was stacking it up. I stacked my stuff up over here and it started to hit the ceiling. And I was like, okay, okay. <laughs> so my birthday was January 23rd. So it was last Saturday or shoot, almost two Saturdays ago now. So one, two, three, that's my birthday. Oh, uh, hey, yes. I needed to take a break, y'all. So quick update. Your girl, was, oh my gosh, it was just too much going on, literally. And I just literally had to stop. And maybe I'll do like a full update video and just talk to you all live about that. But let's get into this stuff. Yes, I'm Aquarius. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I was all in the fields about my birthday, not being able to go anywhere. Um, So <laughs> I think I shopped my feelings away. So I have a birthday haul coming for sure. All right. Thank you. All right. So I just got this today and this came from Too Faced and this is their Better Than Sex Mascara because they are doing their Better Than Sex Day, I want to say. And this this is for that promotion because they asked me, did I want to have it? <sighs> Y'all, my neighbors, I can't wait to move away from them. Like they just come up bumping music at all times of night. And I think it's so rude. <sighs> Granted, it's only four o'clock now, but still it's like, who needs to listen? I mean, I guess I'm getting older, but it's like, who needs to listen to their music that loud when you come into the residence? It's like, Turn down your music when you get into here. I'm all for bumping your music on the interstate. But when you come into where people live, it's like, turn it down. Anyways. But yeah, Too Faced sent me this. Also, let me do a quick disclaimer. All of these items were sent to me. This is not a sponsored video. So nobody's paying me to, sh to share my opinions on anything. This is all PR that was sent to me for my consideration. Um, <laughs> Not a Capricorn. Yes. Uh, thank you so much. Oh, uh, oh, hey, okay, hey, Sh uh, Sharon, um, Janelle, girl, I was watching your December December favorites just now. You're live, so you had to pick a side. Listen, listen, no, the music is trash. Period. Like, I don't know what they listen to. They have a new uh sound system in their house. It's so loud, and I know they just got it because prior to that, I couldn't hear what they're listening to in their house. But they've been pulling up outside, bumping the music. He's a young guy, super annoying, super annoying. Like he's going to be the reason why I move. I don't care. It's super annoying. <laughs> what? Anyways. All right. So um, this came from each and every. All right. So this is. Aluminum free deodorant. Okay, so this is the deodorant. So I got the uh, scent rose vanilla. Hey Val, thank you. 
Ooh, that smells good. It's got like a little sick roll up. Y'all know I like rose. So each and every reached out to me and asked if they could send me some stuff. I'm like, sure, sure. I've never tried aluminum. Well, you know, I take that back because I tried Tom's deodorant back in the day. It did not hold that well. Like I could tell like it was doing some things underneath the armpits. But you know, I'll try it again. This one is citrus and vetiver. I don't care for this scent as much. This smells too citrusy and not enough like vetiver. So it's cool. It's, it's okay. I like the rose and vanilla more. So I'm excited to try these out. Thank you so much each and every for sending these over. Y'all, I'm going to have links to all of these places down in the description box. Give me a few after I'm done with this live video and then I'll get back to it. Hey, Allie. Oh, uh, very so sweet. Uh, ooh, ooh, okay. Um, this is from Laura Mercier. Laura Mercier sent over a big old box of stuff because I actually attended their event that they had with Jackie Ina. It was a Zoom call and we were doing vision board planning and it was really cool that she was talking about her new goals for the year and kind of tying it into this new launch that they had. So this is their newest concealer. This is their secret camouflage bright and correct duo. And here's what that looks like. So I have three different shades. So I have the shade 4N, 3W, and 4W. If you have volume up on my system, you can blast class. <laughs> Woo wee. Poor neighbor Sharon. You know, it's just, it's just I work from home and we all do now. And so it's just so difficult when you're trying to do what you got to do. And then it's just music blasting all the time. So it can't focus. So I'm just going to have to move somewhere a little bit more isolated. So that's that. But yeah, I mean, he does it all times of night. So it doesn't matter if it's 4 a.m., 4, 4 p.m., he bumps music. So it's very irritating. <laughs> because before, it was like a little old family that lived back there. They moved out. So he's the new neighbor. Yes, horrible. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do a full face of Laura Mercier. Full face of Laura Mercier. And and uh I'm gonna include these in there. So yeah, that event was really cute. Very cute. Oh, diamonds, the notes. Ugh. I hate leaving people notes. I don't want to talk to you at all. It's like can you just do what you're supposed to be doing? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Anyways, um, this was sent to me by Medicube. And let's see. Okay. It says, let us focus on your skin so you can focus on yourself. Okay, Medicube. All right. So let's see. What is this? So it says, clear skin starts with clear pores. And, oh, I know what this is. Okay. This was sent to me from overseas. So this is their Zero Foam Cleanser. I'm very excited to try this. This is their Zero Pore Serum. And their Zero Pore Pads. Ooh. Has anybody ever tried Medicube? Have anybody, has anybody ever heard of them? So let's see. Rich and bouncy lather foam cleanser that takes care of it all. Okay, and then this has uh, this the uh, y'all. I'm getting tongue tied. The zero pore pads are toner pads with AHA slash BHA that exfoliate, hydrate, and tighten pores. And then the serum is simple yet effective. Y'all can't talk. Pore care serum that reduces sebum and balances skin moisture oil levels. Okay, cool. I'm excited. I like this. I like this blue. Yeah, I think it's a Korean brand. Um, let's see. Yes, the blue box. Exactly, you do. Very new, Janelle. Like, very new. Um, Sharon. <gasps> Make it! Thank you! Oh, that was so sweet of you. <laughs> oh, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Come on, Euros. Oh, that was so sweet. I started to come have a party, but y'all, I was literally in my feelings on my birthday. <laughs> like I was, because I had been planning to go on this big lavish trip. And I was like, okay, maybe I can go. But honestly, it wasn't happening. And this panini, it's like everybody's going to have a quarantine birthday. 
But thank you. I appreciate that. That was super sweet. Super, super sweet. That definitely made me feel good. Thank you. But yeah, it's a, I think it's a Korean brand, Sharon. Thank you. I'm like, should I? Y'all, maybe I should do a birthday live and it will be like an updated birthday party or like a delayed or belated birthday party, maybe. Maybe I'll do that when I get all my stuff. Because I'm still waiting on two things to come in that's technically for my birthday. But I mean, I I, I did a good amount of damage. <laughs> so thank you. That was so sweet from Amsterdam. Oh, that was very sweet. Um, this box right here came from Charlotte Tory, and I was so excited to see Charlotte sending me stuff. I'm like, thank you, Charlotte. So I'm definitely gonna do a full video on this coming up soon. This is from her newest launch. I already opened it up because so I was just super hyped to even see it. Um, yes, we do need to celebrate because I did not celebrate, not for real. My mom ended up coming and surprising me because I was just so upset, like y'all. But anyways, we'll talk about that later. All right. So look at this box. I think this is how she gift wraps her packages. So she sent me some new um, some new flawless filters. I have these, but she sent me another shade that I didn't have. So she sent me five and six. And then she sent me some of the new eyeshadows, the flawless filter eye palette. This one is Eyes of a Star and Star Aura. And then one of the eye duos in the shade. Where's the shade, honey? Where's the shade? I don't, I don't see it, but it's the Exagger Eyes. And then these are the Hyaluronic Happy Kiss lips. And I have four of these. So she sent Crystal Happy Kiss, Enchanting Kiss, Happy Coral, and Happy Berry. So... I'm going to work on this video super soon. If you all are still interested in it, let your girl know. Let me put this over because I'm not going to throw away that box. But some of these boxes got to go. Should I keep this box? This is a nice box. I like this blue. See, this is the problem. It's like I want to keep all the stuff. But I, I don't have anywhere else. I don't have anywhere else. It's gotten out of control. Let's see. Oh, uh, thank you, Allie. The only things you're waiting on are Cleona and how do you say that? Is it Dev Davina? <sighs> this is true, Sharon. This is true. Where is Takesha? Hey, Takesha. Yes, Charlotte. Yes. My birthday is coming soon and compared to my Paris birthday bash from last year, this year will be a bus. I know. See, I was supposed to be in Paris. I was supposed to be in Paris and I was supposed to be in Hawaii. I want to go to both. Okay, I'm going to keep the box, Sharon. But anyways, we're not going to talk about that. All right. So this was sent um, by a brand called Dr. Geo. And this was hooked up from Vicky J. So Vicky J connected with Dr. Geo. And she was able to secure us some of the cushion foundations. And these are made by Black-owned brands. Dr. Geo is a Black woman. And she has created cushion foundation for women of color. And Vicky J actually did a, com a complete video on these. And I may, may do a video, but I don't have a shade for myself. They are still working on expanding a lot of the shade ranges and, you know, just tweaking a few things. So the lighter shades are really light. And then three is a little bit darker. So it's one and two, which don't really fit me. And then three is a little bit darker. So I may just hold off on that until she kind of gives a little bit more for medium dark in that category because it's a little bit of a gap there. But nonetheless, it's really cool. And I want to say thank you for sending these over because she sent the entire range, which she has, I want to say, six shades. But if you want to see a full video, Vicky J did an entire video using Dr. Geo's products. So I have that. Oh, uh, yay. Yeah, the Divina. Divina, okay. Thank you. Hey, Moni. Um, yeah, I know. I want to go to Hawaii so bad. So bad. I just want to go and just Hulu, drink me some drinks, all kind of stuff. Okay, Lori. Yes, I, I remember, Lori. I did come to your party. Okay. I may go ahead and do it. I may go ahead and do it. All right. 
So let me get some of this stuff out of my eye line. So this was sent to me from Pop Beauty. And they sent over a few different things. So this is a plump pout lip plumper. I already know I'm not going to use that because I don't like lip plumping products. So I'm going to add that to my giveaway pal for my sister. This is the Makeup Magnet Mist. Nice. This is Setting Mist. And they sent over their Light Show Palette, which is a orangey type eyeshadow palette. Oh, girl. Heavy on the shot. Island Hopping. Like, if you go all the way over there, why not just go to as many as you can? That's how I feel about it. <laughs> yes, that's how I feel about it. <laughs> Takisha says, sorry, Petty. <laughs> and then they sent over a liquid eyeshadow. So thank you so much, Pop. They sent me some more stuff, too. So they sent over this box right here. This is nail polish. So they've expanded their brand to include nail polish. And these are really, really creamy too. I was kind of experimenting with them and I painted my, my thumb marshmallow, but then I kind of scrubbed it away. So that that's why you might see remnants of the white. But I'm excited to have more nail polishes because I've been buying more nail polishes. I don't know if you all got a chance to check out my haul video that I just posted, but I filmed that like pretty much. I want to say I filmed that right. Hold on real quick, y'all. I got an email that I need to check. Where is it? Uh, I need to get on this phone call, y'all. Mm. I guess we're not going to be able to talk. That's all right. I'm going to stay on my live because I heard back from them a little bit later. So I'm going to stay on my live. So we'll chat later. So uh, what was I about to say? I don't know what I was saying. Anyways, moving on. So, Madam Glenn. Oh, yeah, nail polish. So, I have been collecting my nail polishes. I posted a live video, I mean, a haul video that I filmed back in November. And in November, um, or like the end of November, beginning of December, I had placed an order from ILMP, which is I Love Nail Polish, and I have yet to pay my nails, which is something that I really want to get back into doing. But I'm like on my nail polish, polish flow. I'm on my nail polish flow low like I'm so into it um a makeup collection video oh honey oh honey hold on y'all actually let me because I'm not gonna hop off let me just go ahead um let me just go ahead and respond real quick y'all Okay, because people be trying it, but anyway, uh, you went live, love, polish, Cirque. Is it Cirque? No, probably not. Holo Taco? Yes. Hi, SCK. Yes, hangs coat on the hook. When people were talking about ILMP, I thought they were talking about their My Briggs personnel. <laughs> what do I do? What do you do? What do I do? A lot. <laughs> I don't do a lot. I want more fun shades to come out from Hollow Talk. I just, I want some indies in OPI. Hallelujah. I love that. How Lord almost went by the highlighters. It's okay. Holographic face. You like the holographic makeup, huh? See, I'm kind of over holographic makeup. You know what I'm saying? I'm kind of over that. Oh, no. How is Clubhouse? I actually, I actually have not even started a room. Okay, so work-wise, I am a beauty influencer, one. I also am a professional makeup artist, kind of. I kind of have retired in quarantine. I don't see where I'm going to feel comfortable going back out, being in the field, doing people's makeup like that. So I'm just going to pump my brakes on that. I also am a full-time doctorate student, getting my doctorate in business. 
Um, I'm not finished with that. Like I'm at the last stage of it, but the last stage can take some people up to five years. So that's what I do as well as consulting. So that's it. Audra in the house. All right, y'all. So back on this situation. So this is by or from Madam Glam. And everything you love at your fingertips. So they sent me more nail polish. So here is, uh-oh, their nail polishes. So they sent a base coat, a soak off top coat, and then the shades Perfect White. I asked for a blurple like color, so they sent me this one. And then they sent me this grayish cloud like color. And then they sent me, I think it dropped. They sent me the lamp to be able to do my nails in the gel polish, which I've never done gel polish before. So I'm very excited to do gel nail polish because my mom and my sister swear by that. But I just, I don't know. I don't know. It's, I don't know. I'm going to try it though. I'm going to try it. So yes. Yes, yes, yes. So that's it for that. I'm going to put that up. So yes. But yeah, I mean, I do a good amount of things, but mainly I do beauty influencing. Um, Kaleidos sent over a PR package. And this one is from their launch that they just had with Angelica, which I'm very excited to have this. I just got this yesterday. Like, just, just got it. So this says Club Nebula Invitation. Oh, um, okay. So Angelica, I don't know how to pronounce her name. I've seen her with her beautiful, colorful eyeshadow looks. So this is her launch in collaboration with them. This is their first collaboration together. Oh, wow. What is this? It says Club Nebula. May oh, I should have gotten my, my razor. I mean, switchblade. Dang. I believe this is a deck of cards. Yeah, me too. Have you on the shot? My whole hands. Um, that's what, that's what this is. X gray duh. I just, I just got it yesterday. Just got it. So I have like, I got like 15 videos in front of it though. Yeah. Oh, this is cute. This is cute. It is. It's a deck of cards. Yeah. I don't know how to play cards. At all, like I know, no, I know how to play uh solitaire. Uh, don't have play anything else. No, I guess blackjack because it's self-explanatory. It's not really a thinking game for. I guess it is a thinking game, but I just don't know the strategies to think about it. So that's really cool. And Kaleidos' stuff is always packaged so well. I keep all of my stuff from them, all of my packaging from them. Ooh, look at this. Oh, that's so nice. That's so nice. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Hopefully it comes so I mean, honestly, they when they reached out to me and asked me, did I want this package as CK? They said it may take up to 21 days. And it it is taking about 21 days. Because that's why I just got it. Ooh, y'all, this is beautiful. This packaging is so nice. Kaleidos' packaging is nice. That's for one. And then look at this. Oh, I just dropped something. Look at this. I love this color story. Love. Okay. I will be definitely doing a video using this. We're going to have to talk about um, what y'all want to see first, though. Because, like I said, I have a lot of videos. I've been having a lot of videos. And it only got worse. And because I filmed so much stuff before Christmas. But basically, I just shut down. And I didn't post any of it. So, we'll we'll talk about a schedule for sure. Because I have so many videos. That's why I keep posting all these videos that have um, holiday decorations in the back. Because I filmed them. They're still good videos. It's just I didn't get a chance to edit them before the holidays. Yes. 
I, I think so. I still need to do a video with my Kaleido stuff. I have all of the stuff they've ever come out with, and I need to do videos using it. All right, so Milani sent over a lot of stuff. So they sent me a new foundation. Um, Let's see. They sent over all these primers. All these primers. They sent over a setting spray. Look at this palette, y'all, that they sent over. This one is called Gilded Terra. Look at this palette. I already opened it, by the way. Milani is that girl. I mean, just killing it at the drugstore. Killing it. Okay, look at that. Super beautiful. Very different type palette. So I cannot wait to do a look full face Milani, but I, I probably won't be able to get that video out until I'm going to say March or April. Just the full face of Milani. I already can tell y'all I'm too, at this point, I'm too behind. Like I'm too behind on my content. So hopefully earlier, I'm posting a video every single day. Uh oh, I'm literally editing on the nose before I post. Um, they sent all of this stuff too. All of this stuff. So I'm like, okay, Milani. They sent um, this eyeshadow palette, which I think this one is so fire. Yes, cannot wait to do spring looks. This more foundation. They sent me a lot of foundation colors. Even though I already I asked for one because I already know my foundation shade in this, but I guess they're like, well, we just want to cover our bases. So they sent me these. They sent me all of these. Um what are these called? I can't tell what they're called, but they're like, they look like lip balms. And then they sent all of their blushes, which these are amazing. And they sent me some of their glosses. And this is it in here. Nope. And then they sent some of their cream blushes. So definitely I'm doing a full face of Milani. Fun fact, I've already done a full, a full face of Milani before, but but it never made it to YouTube because the footage, the footage was corrupted. And I had spent so much time on that video. My feelings were so, so hurt that I didn't even film it over. So I'll have to do it for the first time. But I love Milani. If I haven't done so already, would I mind? Will I please make a video on how to keep your makeup nice while wearing a mask? Asking for all those hospital folks. I got you. I got you. <sighs> Those are satin lipsticks. Thank you so much, Sharon. Also, what a beautiful haul. Oh, thank you. All right. So, Tuca, which is a waxing brand, they sent me their hair removal waxing kit. Okay. I'm going to be waxing some things. I'm going to be waxing some things. So, let me open this up. Okay, so I've never waxed myself or anybody else for that matter in my life. But when they reached out to me and asked me, did I want the waxing kit? I'm like, absolutely, because I am so down to wax. Because I don't mind the little waxing pain, okay? So I want to wax instead of constantly shaving or plucking and stuff like that. Because I feel like it will be a little bit, you know, seamless. It may hurt more, but I'm looking out for the long term. Let's see. Well, I'll be testing out Morphe's new foundation created by Danessa Myers. Oh, was it? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> you say Danessa. That kind of changes some things, huh? Okay, so here are the six. But the thing with that is, is... Okay, so here's the thing. When you review stuff that is made by somebody so prestigious, what if I don't like it? Then, you know, you got all these people coming out the woodworks saying that you don't know what you're talking about because this person made it and blah, 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 blah. Not saying I won't like it, but I'm just saying sometimes with certain brands and launches, it's difficult to fully review it because people won't let you, just like with the Selena Gomez stuff. I got so many nasty comments with that because people won't let you tell the truth about products because they take it personally. Not y'all, of course. Yeah. <laughs> your mama said I should wax your beard. 
<laughs> he barely laughed, y'all. <laughs> okay, so here are the wax beads. So this is what they look like. Hey, Jenny. The wax beads are hair removal without strip. Okay, so you pour them into an empty metal wax and heat them in a professional wax warmer. You set it, you set the heat to ready for approximately approximately 20 to 30 minutes. Oh yeah, we're gonna be waxing. Oh yeah, so I wonder are these different scents? They all say hard wax beans. Yeah, okay, so no, it's not, it doesn't say it's for different scents, but it's like for different stuff. So some of them are for thicker hair, more coarse hair, stuff like that. I'm excited. Thank you so much, Chuka, for sending this over. I'm going to get to waxing some things. What is this for? I've never, y'all, I, I literally don't know. I don't even go get, I don't even go get wax. I don't. My sister is the wax queen. She has a standing wax appointment to go get a Brazilian wax every month. Or I don't know if it's every month. It might be every two weeks. Like, she's very, very hairy. I'm not as hairy as her. So, I don't go do all of that. I feel like I can maintain at the crib. My sister has to go get it done. Because if she tries to maintain, she's getting ingrown hairs, all kind of stuff. And I'm always so fascinated by waxing and stuff like that. I almost considered going to get my esthetician license just to have, you know, some type of paperwork to back up all this level of experience that I have being a makeup artist because in a lot of states, it's not, you're not um, required to have certification to work as a makeup artist. But, you know, I just want to be official. You know what I'm saying? Because I like to take it there. So I was thinking about it, but I like waxing. I can see myself being wax like, but i don't think i would go work like at a salon or anything like that but to know how to properly wax i'm here for it yes menopause or perimenopause for all of us late 30s ladies everybody is waxing a beard of some sort <laughs> why i, I want to know i want to know the breakdown of why because I, I mean i do think that's very true i grow facial hair shoot it's all over here those are neat wax beads. I tried a wax kit recently with just the microwave heated wax and pot and sticks did not work for you. Oh, people are ridiculous. We watch those videos to get the truth. At least you do. Some people don't want the truth. Some people can't handle the truth. <laughs> Some people can't handle it. What keeps me motivated and creative? Ooh. What keeps me motivated is that I love it and Thankfully, I just get ideas that just come to me from God. Like, honestly, they just come to me. They flow to me. I'll just be sitting here and I'll think of a different idea. And I get inspired a lot by things outside of the actual beauty industry. I don't go to a lot of like my peers' videos and take their ideas or anything like that. Like, I could be watching a cooking show and get a random idea of something that's not even related. Like it could be somebody could say the word flabbergasted and I'm like, oh, I should do a video talking about the makeup that has made me the most flabbergasted. That is a very random, very, very random <laughs> example. But you know, it's just stuff like that comes to me. Um, sometimes I do get overwhelmed just like over the holiday season, I literally just could not continue editing and pushing myself because I was just really exhausted from doing a lot of different stuff. And um, I had to just take a break. So knowing when to take a break is really important too. Plus, I felt like the views just have not been there. Like for the past, I would say three months, views have just not been there. So I'm like, you know what? Why am I making my channel suffer to just put the content out, just be putting it out. Because if you put out videos that are low performing on your channel, you get penalized for that. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to chill. I'm literally pushing myself. I'm literally tired and I'm doing the most. And I don't know if it was just a non-interest in some of the things I was talking to, talking about, or if it just was YouTube not pushing, but I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to chill. So, yep. Everybody I'm behind on um, beauty YouTube should have some sort of aesthetic slash beautician license before giving us advice. I have a license before I can advise people, you know, kind of because, but I would say that everybody that gets up here is not a professional. 
You know, I didn't even start my channel on the professional tip. I started my channel just to talk about my makeup that I was buying because I didn't have anybody to share that with in real life. So, you know, hold on, y'all. Ma, let me call you back in 10 minutes. Love you, bye. So I didn't even start my channel on that. So, yeah. Um... You're so good. I hope that your hard work and beauty tips are so appreciated by people. You're great at what you do, and hopefully more people will recognize it. Oh, thank you so much. You wax your brows yourself, and it took some time to learn the correct technique, but you can do it. Thank you, Lori. I actually don't pluck or wax my brows too much. Like, I just get, you know, the hairs that come right here, and they just kind of stay. I think you're fine as long as you're not representing yourself as a perfect. That's what I'm saying to Audra. Now, if you're coming up here saying that this is my professional advice, let me advise you, let me make sure, let me give you, you know, medical advice, then you need to have one, that certification, and two, you need to make sure that that is known. Miss Kelsey, you could have fooled me. I thought you were a licensed pro with your knowledge base. I'm also, I'm always really grateful for your content. I mean, to get that, it would just be a piece of paper. Like, I, I pretty much know what I need to know. I've studied it for my entire life. I mean, for fun, I used to read the cosmetology thick textbook just to just for fun, you know, because I'm really into that. But for sure, for sure, it would just be to have that certification because I don't have that. But, you know, with makeup, I feel like experience has taught me a lot. A lot of experience. Um, laser. Ooh, you did? What, what type of laser did you get? And how did it affect your skin? All right, I got a few more boxes, y'all. So here's the next box, and I believe, yes. So this is my package that I got from Shantakai. And Shantakai just came out with their cushion foundation. Um, their cushion foundation is, it is nice because it has expanded the color range. And their darker shades just launched. Their lighter shades launched a little bit earlier, I think early in the holiday season, but then their darker shades launched a little bit later. So I just got this yesterday as well. They sent me the shade Agave. They said that they were going to send me another shade in the shade Wheat because they felt like Agave may be a little bit too warm for me, but I can do a video using this if you all are interested in it. You know, I've been looking for a good cushion foundation for a while, but I mean, it just seems like the shades kind of stop before me. So here is the shade Agave. They think it was going to be too deep or something, but honestly, I think this looks like this probably is it for me. That looks like my match. Wheat looks like it'll be a little bit light. See, look, that's Agave. So let me know if you all have an interest in this at all. That is agave. Right, Mindy. It's like some people are just coming up here sharing their opinion, just sharing the fact that they love makeup and want to talk about makeup and they're sharing it from their perspective. And I feel like most people who do that, they tell you, like, I'm not a makeup artist. This is just what I like. And I've tested a lot of it. Um, but, you know, like think about even somebody like Tantalia. I, see, I don't know her professional background, but I want to say she went to law school or something like that, and she didn't have any professional training to be a makeup artist, but because she's been trying makeup for 10 plus years, you know, she kind of feels like she is an expert in that field, even more so than anything that can be taught to you at school. And even when you go to school for to be an esthetician or a cosmetologist, they don't really focus on makeup. So really the only way to really understand makeup is to get out there and do makeup. But you want to go to school, be an esthetician, you can learn more about skin. That may help you learn more, know more about formulas and ingredients. And then with cosmetology, they don't even spend hardly any time on makeup. And any makeup certification programs are not, like it's not recognized by the state. It's not recognized as something that is official. So you would just be going just to get more knowledge. But anyways, I like that. I like the shade. Let me know. Are y'all interested in this? Are you all interested? Alicia did. I haven't watched her. See, I told y'all before, I don't watch 
anybody's review video before I do my own because I do not want to be subliminally swayed by somebody else's opinion. Definitely interested in Shanta Kai. Agave looks great on Chelsea. Agave makes me think of the agave syrup in my iced tea. Yummy. Mm. I got my underarm in full Brazilian and my skin was fine afterwards. The nurse asked about my skin at the beginning of each visit and asked if the laser was too hot. Mm. Has anybody got laser on their face, though? That's what I want to know. Hmm. I don't know. I can see that. I just see a lot of people who share their makeup preferences also share their skincare preferences. A license would probably not hurt. It would. It wouldn't hurt. Because, I mean, nothing. If you're anytime you're continuing your education in your field, I've never seen anybody say, you know, I just I just did. I didn't learn anything there, you know, because you're going to become more knowledgeable. You might already walk in with a lot of things, a lot of knowledge, but until you really focus and dedicate your time and study certain things, you might not learn unless you go to a program that forces you to. And for most people, for a lot, I'm not going to say most, but for a lot of people, they don't have to get the dedication to really sit there and study something unless they're going to be tested and can pass or fail. Yeah, and aesthetic school, aesthetics school makeup is five percent of the curriculum. Exactly, that's why to be a makeup artist, most states don't require you to have that. But for a lot of states, they want you to have it mainly because they want you to understand sanitary practices. I understand. I agree with this perspective. There's no room for elite, elitism. For a beauty industry, which should be rooted in creativity. I respect people who want to advance certifications, but that doesn't take away. And, you know, I appreciate you saying that, but there's definitely, definitely an air of elitism in the beauty industry. And you could tell you go to these events, you're working backstage. People want to know who do you work with? How did you get here? <laughs> OK, how did you get here? You, nobody's asking if, if you're backstage at a fashion show. Nobody's gonna say, "Do you do you have your licensure?" No, they're gonna be like, "Who who have you worked for? Who do you represent? Are you with an agency? Are you with um a the union?" That's what they want to know. Did my mother send me a package? Not today. <laughs> I would love to get derma soon and laser on my face. Oh my gosh, me too. The only creative. Creator, I can think of that got laser treatments on her face, did so for acne scarring, and it helped her a lot once it healed. Really? Who was that, Sharon? Dermabrasion, yes. Thank you. My eyes are blank. <laughs> Thank you. Shane, Shane uh, did a story time video about a pro MUA making her look sort of strange. And you know, it, it honestly, Makeup is so subjective. Somebody can be in the industry for 30 years and you can literally hate the way that they do your makeup. And somebody can be in the industry for a year and you love the way they do your makeup. The industry just has flipped on its head. Ever since the beauty YouTube and beauty influencing got here, makeup artists on the high act. I've had all kinds of laser for years on the face. Micro laser 250, clear and brilliant 300, and others at 150. So, which one did you like the most, Ball? Hot and flashy has some great reviews on different red light masks. Hot and flashy. Hot and flashy. Who's hot and flashy? Okay, let me get real with y'all real quick. Because I'm black, I don't want to mess up my melanin if I get laser on my face. So, do you all know anybody that's black? Personally, because I don't want to watch somebody's video that I don't know when I don't have a personal connection. Y'all are not recommending and they're just saying they're doing something and they don't. I want to know personal connections that you have with people and you know that they wouldn't be just telling you something. Have you seen them have any good experiences with the laser? Because sometimes people do not tell you that videos are sponsored. They don't tell you that videos, you know, they, they really didn't do it. They're just saying it. They're just, you know, trying to go along and get along and get a paycheck. I want to see somebody actually go through and have it, you know. So I'm, I'm going to do some more research on it. But if you all have any that you have watched that you felt like are really good resources, let me know. 
Okay. So, Shanta Kaiba. Did we say that we were interested in doing, you know, that video? Y'all want to see that? What do y'all think? Is laser different from skin peels? Yes. So laser is like literally going in and killing the hair follicles. Yes, Deshaun Sakai. I'm a laser technician as well. Have some clients with darker skin tones. I just suggest be safe and sorry. Might take more sessions. Right. But start low. Okay. Thank you. Any particular laser that you recommend? Oh, and like the video, friends. Yes, thank you. All right, I'm almost done. Y'all can keep rolling in your opinions on what, whether or not you all want to see a Shantakai video. If you do, do you want to see a dedicated Shantakai video? Because I filmed a Shantakai video last year that I still can post. It still will be relevant. Y'all, I have so many videos that I filmed last year and the year before that are still relevant videos. Like, don't think that I have videos that are just random, irrelevant videos that I would post. <laughs> it will still be things that you'll be interested in today. It's just I haven't. I haven't. I haven't. <laughs> I want you to review Brad's PA. Who? Let me take a picture of that, Moni. I'm like, who? Oh, thank you, little baby. Yes. See, Sharon, I would rather pay and have it done right than be talking about going on Groupon and my skin be messed up because... The hair that I'm focused on is right here. Y'all can't even see it. It's just something that I find myself shaving off so my makeup lays better, but not enough that to where it is debilitating for me to risk my skin being visibly scarred or visibly, you know, messed up. You just leave it, but I would like to have it if it's done safely. Micro laser makes you peel a lot. Okay. I'm taking pictures of all this, y'all. I'm going to the dermatologist this month, and we're going to talk about some stuff. We're going to talk about some stuff. Okay, so this was sent to me, and let me know if you all can pronounce this. Avrani? Avrani? It is Clean Indian Inspired skincare, And it says, I am honored to share a piece of my heritage with you. Look at this, y'all. I love this color blue, and I love a good blue and orange combination. Now, that is when I'm into orange. Y'all, I love this packaging. Look at this. This is their Glow Activating Exfoliator. It has turmeric, honey, and neem. And my skin does so well with neem oil. Whenever I have something going on weird and I put some neem oil on it, baby, it's gone. It's out of here. Out of here. Yes, Val. I actually have that derma derma flash thing, and I love that. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. My mom did it a few. My, your mama did it back in the day for a few stubborn hairs on her chin. It left a, bru a bruise. However, it was over fifteen years ago. Yeah. Laser doesn't work well. It doesn't work well on light hair. I've heard that lasers with the high energy are bad because they can cause hyperpigmentation, cause hyperpigmentation and scarring. Yeah, that's why I'm not. Oh, you've been to India. Oh, so nice. Neem. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. I got a little, I have a little cold, just a little bit, not, nothing too major. But, oh, my gosh, it says spread evenly on clean, damp skin. Leave on for up to five minutes or when the mask hardens. Remove gently with the wet, warm washcloth and pat dry. I'm excited. This whole brand just looks lit. When they reach out to me, I'm like, yes. Oh, no, I just dropped stuff. I hate when I drop stuff. Okay, so they sent their Balance Restoring Serum. You about to go get it for me? It's right there. And here's what that looks like. It's just that red. Thank you. Oh, it's heavy. Wait a minute. 
Here's that. Oh, tea tree oil, chamomile flowers, cucumber extracts. Y'all look at this. This packaging is doing it. You got a Tumblr collection. Will you show any later? You want to see my Tumblr collection? Ooh, that feels nice. Y'all, blue is my favorite color. I know everybody thinks purple is my favorite color, but it's really blue. <laughs> it's really royal blue. This blue. I love that. Mm, okay, it doesn't smell too fragrant, you know? Let's see, what does this say? This toning polish minimizes the appearance of pores, reinstates skin's natural moisture barrier, and helps calm the skin. It's formulated with tea tree oil, cucumber extract, chamomile flowers, and witch hazel. Okay, and then I have the softening hydra whip. This one has coconut oil, rose hip seed, and shea nuts. Ugh. You know what? I keep shaking because I think I'm hungry. That's what it is. My blood sugar probably is kind of loud. So I just dropped it. Oops, I'm sorry, y'all. And it rolled all the way to the bag. I'm sorry, y'all. And then here is the eye rejuvenating elixir, which I used yesterday. And I will tell you that it is amazing. <laughs> Mona, you want to see my Tumblr review too? Hey, Michelle. I was watching your live earlier. I mean, not live, but your haul. I actually was like, let me come back. So I have to finish because I'm like, I love a good haul too. That's my favorite. That's what got me started on YouTube, our haul videos. I want to see what you buy. <laughs> That's my favorite thing. Okay. So Good Molecules sent over their Yerba Mate Wake Up Eye Gel. Probably just butchered that. But y'all, Good Molecules is skincare. It's really, really nice and it is affordable. Okay. Let me open it. Look at this. I was reading the brief on this and it just seems like a really bomb eye cream. So it says that Yerba Mate, a native plant in the Atlantic rainforest of Brazil, is naturally rich in antioxidants and polyphenols, which helps slow down the oxidation process, resulting in more radiant, energized skin. So it's going to wake you up. Hey, Tanya. Listen, okay, Fedora, I, as much as I love Rose, I did not like Rose of No Man's Land by Byredo because it, it was like a dull rose. And for some reason, it made me feel nauseous. Some smells are like that. And that was one of the ones I did not like it. I like Baldi Afrique. Afrique the most out of all of my Barreto scents that I've smelled. And I also like Super Cedar. But Super Cedar is not going to be everybody's cup of tea because it is so, so like grassy, like woodsy, it's outdoorsy. It's not, everybody's not going to like it. But I have a fragrance haul coming up, y'all, because I have gone ham. Being in the house, I need some sort of familiarity and I just have been buying fragrances. I literally have bought probably 20 new ones in the past month. Seriously. But anyways, I didn't like Rose of No Man Land. All right, y'all. And then one last thing that I have PR-wise is from House of Siage. And let me go ahead and open this baby up. Yes, Michelle. Fragrance haul time. Yerba Mate is delicious. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. More fragrance. Y'all, I'm, I'm obsessed with fragrance. Seriously. It's because I haven't, can't go anywhere. So at least I'm going to smell good. And then since just remind you of being outside, being, you know, living the, the life. I miss my life. <laughs> so this is their new spring collection. So let me show you. Yes, new springtime collection. And on here, on here, in here, <laughs> I have the Whispers of Truth. 
and they sent over a refill. Okay. So here's the refill, and I actually have this one. So I'm going to give this one to my mama. But before I do that, I'm going to spray it right now. <laughs> She's not going to know. Oh, that! Oh my gosh. I love, love Whispers of Truth. Y'all, House of Siage sends me so much stuff that I know a lot of you all do not believe that is good. Because you're like, oh, well, they sent it to you. So you probably will say that anyways. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> No, I literally wouldn't. House of Siage's stuff is a bonus that they send it to me. But if they didn't, I would still buy it because their fragrance house is bomb. Bomb. Whispers of Truth is bomb. But look at what else they sent me. They sent me a new bow color. Okay, look. I filled up my bow case in the back. Oh! Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Which creed? I have a few creeds. Okay, so I have all of them. So now I have this one, which is the coral. It's like electric coral. I'm like, do I need to change one out in the back? <sighs> Maybe I'll do like a little tour of my little film area. It's not a big area. It's very edited. I have things over here that I love. That's why when everything started piling up just now, I'm like, I can't function like this. I have, have to, have to, have to edit it down because I can't work in that because I don't have much space. I don't have much space. But to go in here, they sent me some re, uh, lipstick refills. They sent me Nude Sakura, Exotic, Exotic Rosewood, Royal Highness, and Royal Seduction. Which Creed is my favorite. Silver Mountain Water is my favorite scent of all time. It's actually a more masculine scent, but it's so fresh. I love that so much. I love it more than anything. That's my absolute favorite. And then following that, I would probably say... <sighs> Creed. Mm, I gotta think about it. But Silver Mountain Water right off the right off the top. Right off the top. Um, where did I get the makeup brush holder? People ask me about that all the time. I got it from TJ Maxx. And I got it a few years ago. See, the thing about me is, is if I know I'm going to do something, which I knew I was going to redo my, my room, my little area, then I start collecting stuff. So I changed this space over from using backdrops to having, you know, this decorated or whatever last year. And uh, I already had that for like two or three years already because I knew I was going to do that. So, I mean, the chance of you finding it is so slim to none. So slim to none. Thank you, Lorraine. Uh, thank you, Takesha. Hi in Scotland. Oh, I'm trying to get out this lipstick so I can swatch it for you all. So this one is, ooh, I might have to put this one on. Snoo Sakura. Oh, I like that. Oh, gosh, Michelle, it's so nice. But it's masculine. So if you like that and you like fresh, clean, crisp, then you'll like it. Oh, wow. My favorite luxury makeup brush. I mean, my favorite is Songya G. Songya G is here. And then Haku Hodo and Chika Hodo are here. And then uh, Koyudo are like here. You know, and then everything else is amazing. Like, I love all of my other brushes that I have in my collection. There's so many amazing brands. But if we're talking about luxury brushes, that means the tippity, 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 tippity top. Then that was my tippity, tippity, tippity top. And then, you know, we have Refer, which is an amazing affordable brush brand. And then we have brands like BK Beauty. We have Royal and Lane Nickel. We have, who else? Uh, those are like my main ones. And then I'll have like one off here, one off there. But I mean, you talking about amazing brushes? I love Sonya. I love Sonya. Mm. Hey, Venice. I don't see you, but I saw somebody say hey to you. Yes. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I love that. But yes, that is from new from House of Siage. Y'all, House of Siage's stuff is amazing. Like I said, I have a luxury perfume haul coming up soon. I'm going to be sharing some of the ones. And mind you, I filmed that video like a month ago. So I have more than that now. So I really could do a luxury perfume part two. Y'all, let me share this one with you really quickly. I got this one most recently. 
It's one of the things that I picked up for my birthday. It's one by Christian Louboutin. And this one is Louboutin. And I'm going to be honest. I love the packaging more than I love the scent. I don't think I love this. I like don't even want to spray it on myself. I don't know. It's nice. It's very nice. It's just not my cup of tea. I don't know. I think it's the pink pepper that I don't like. I don't, I'm not sure. See, I got this one because it said it was more masculine and I love a more masculine scent, right? But I don't love this. And then because I bought it, one of the Christian Louboutin reps reached out to me and was like, hey, can I send you some samples of the other scents, you know, just so you can try them out? And then I smelled Luby Doo. And I love that one so much more. I want that one instead of that one because I don't think I'm going <laughs> to use that one. But I'm going to talk to them about it because I'm like, mm. oh, yeah, Wayne Goss brushes too. Wayne guys. See, that's what happens when you're trying to say something off the top of your head. You're going to forget some of your favorites. But yeah, amazing. Uh, Sigma brushes. See, Sigma brushes are nice starting point brushes. But like once you try a Sonya G brush, you know, you'll have your Sigma brushes, but it's nothing like Sonya. See, Michelle, I need that one. Yes, I need that one. That one is the best smelling one. Cause they sent me a sample of Luby Croc. That one is good too. And then they sent one of, I want to say Luby Crown. I didn't like Luby Crown. Oh yes. Yes, Lorraine. I actually have a food aid brush haul coming up too that I filmed like in September. We're going to have to do a, a complete live and just talk about what order you all want me to post things in. I'm going to work as diligently as possible while weaving in my old content and the new things that are coming out to make sure that everything is still relevant. Because like I said, I filmed this video today on the Oryx stuff, but then I also have a video that I filmed, you know, just trying on all of the Oma Beauty lipsticks that I did. Like, I don't know, in May. <laughs> so yeah, it's stuff like that. So we'll work it out. I'm excited to have shown you all all of these things. Thank you so much to all of these brands that have sent me all these amazing products. I'm going to have everything linked down in the description box if you are interested in anything. I'm going to go ahead and grab a little bit of dinner before I do that because your girl is hungry. Then I'll be back within the hour to do it. But I hope that you all had a good time hanging out with me. I'm back on the money. I'm ready to do it. I took a little bit of a break from the internet, I didn't take a break in real life. I just had to like, I had to get my life together, y'all. Like, I just felt like everything was spinning and I couldn't get anything together. Plus I had a little bit of a health scare. Everything is fine, but I did. And so that was really messing with my mental too. So I'm good. I'm glad everybody here is good. It's good to chat with y'all and see y'all. I'll have new videos up for the rest of the year probably. <laughs> So we'll do another live chat soon. When I get all my birthday stuff, y'all want to do a birthday live, y'all said. So we'll do that, which is always fun to chat and be able to share things. But good night, everybody. Yes, thank you all. I hope everybody is safe and well during these times as well. I love you all. Y'all stay safe. I will chat with you all in my next video. If you haven't seen my last two videos that I posted, I just posted my December favorites. I do not want anybody coming for me. You are not allowed to come for me for that. <laughs> I literally filmed that in December. I'm like, oh, I'm doing good. I'm going to post this right now. I'm going to be ahead of the curve, girl. I had that video since December. And I was like, you know what? I liked this video. I'm going to post it. But yeah, thank you so much again to Make and Read for sending such an amazing, amazing and kind gift. I really appreciate you for sending that super chat. And I love you all. Have a good night. Mwah. I'll talk with you all shortly. And make sure you go watch my other videos that I posted, my December video and my last haul video. I'll see y'all tomorrow.